Okay, I'm just checking in real quickly because it's like 10 after 6 and it's so quiet this morning. It makes it quite an hour difference makes. Anyway, I'm on my way to Animal Kingdom. A lot of the animals do camouflage really well. It can be a little bit harder to spot. There's an oak copy over yep. on your right side, hiding right behind the bush there. Now the oak copy looks like it could be related to the zebra. Maybe have some zebra pants on, but it's actually not related to the zebra at all. Its closest known relative is the giraffe. We know this because of its skull structure and very long tongue. Its tongue is so long it can actually lick its own eyeball. How cool! <laughs> Now the oak copy itself was not found until 1901. That just shows you you can find new species almost at any time. Look here on your right side, I do see a Nile hippo right down there. There's two of them in the water. They do not swim. What they do is sink to the bottom of the water and then walk along the bottom. There's also some pinkback pelicans. Pinkback pelicans get their name from the color. It's changed during mating season, which of course is a pinkish color. They're known for colonial nesting, meaning that they nest in large groups. Well, the males and females who take care of their nest. They're the largest crocodilian in Africa, growing to be almost 16 foot long and like smiling at you. What they're doing is regulating their body temperature. I do already see some sable antelope migration right over there. Just three of them. Oh, and some wildebeest. So let's make our way down in a really close view. Ooh, you can see the Ancoli cattle too. All right, starting here on your right side, you'll see some wildebeest. They are the largest herding animals. They herd at about 1.4 million. So when born, they must be able to run within an hour or else they do have the potential to get left behind. The cattle, now the Ancoli cattle horns look like they could be really heavy. They're actually not. They're made out of a honeycomb-like structure, which pumps blood vessels do to keep them cool. So they only weigh about five to 10 pounds each, not very heavy in comparison to their body weights.
is their uh, behavior, wow, how cool is that, of hunting in family groups. So we can hunt prey that are much, much larger than themselves. Really, really cool behavioral adaptation. So that was, that's right, again. Sorry, she was using Apple Maps, so she might take a little less time. Here you go, oh Ethan, Kara. That was great. I just, thank you. <laughs> and... to maybe avoid some predators and also to eat their favorite foods. Okay. What's your full name? Kiwi Wee Wee. So he gave himself that last bit of the name. He's picked up a lot of stuff while he's been here. Um, I think he's been hanging around some of our birds, like a chicken. Yeah, a chicken noise. And um, I think he's been pop popping too, actually, because uh, he has a pipe. Yeah, he's doing worth the bird. Yeah, heads up. Yeah, he is an amazing bird. Not just because of his size, but because of the role they play in the infant. They're all cleaning up the mess, stopping the spread of disease. Actually thing behind the tree of life, which is, I can't see this is something that my phone's
it's actually end of the day. <laughs> um, this is not a morning check-in, but I want to do a quick outfit check-in. This is what I wore to Animal Kingdom. It's my shirt that says, although it's backwards, I think probably to you, um, not fast, not furious for the sloth. And then really comfy, like running shorts, which was good because I did do Cali and I got wet. I, I would say I was like the 50%, 75% wet. There was the one girl that got soaked. <laughs> um, and then there's people on the other side that didn't really get anything. Um, but yeah, this was the outfit for today. Very, very comfy for a very hot day. Oh, okay. Lighting is weird in here. <laughs> I can't get good lighting. I'm so used to filming in like natural lighting that it's hard in non -natu natural lighting. Because if I open those, people will be walking by <laughs> and be like, hey. So, uh, it is about 5.30. I just got back from being at Animal Kingdom. I had a great day. Um, way more chilled and relaxed than other days. I was the only person on the bus this morning <laughs> doing rope drop, which I'm glad I did. Um, I did the flight of passage for rope drop and then went and did the Kilimanjaro Safari, which the lineup gets really busy for that fairly quickly after the park opens. Pretty much got everything done except for didn't do the Navi River. I heard it's not really worth it if there's a long lineup. So I was like, you know what? That I'm just gonna skip. And I didn't really walk around the Pandora area all that much, uh, but I did like everywhere else and I did everything else that I wanted to do. Had a really good margarita. That was that was fun. Everest, so much fun. I almost went and did Everest twice because uh, they have a single rider line and with single rider, I, like, I was like a walk-on. It was great. And it was like a 30 minute 25 or 30 minute lineup, but single rider was a walk on. Totally rec recommend. Just do single rider. So much easier. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show you a couple of things that I bought and I'm going to relax. I'm going to do nothing for the rest of the evening. My plan for this evening is do nothing for a while. Um, maybe get some food from the cafeteria thing here. I know it's not cafeteria, whatever they call it. Um, quick service and maybe go for a swim. And then I have to pack which sucks. Um, I have to pack because I have to change hotels tomorrow night because I couldn't get Art of Animation for my last night here tomorrow. So I have to pack everything up to um, get ready because I'm going to go, actually, so correction, I was going to say I'm going to rope drop it. Um, sorry, I'm getting sore. I'm going to rope drop at uh, Hollywood Studios. I don't think I'm going to rope drop at Hollywood Studios. I think I made an executive decision that Anna's done with rope dropping. Uh, it was fun while it lasted. Um, I would rope drop if I was still staying here because I could just get up, go over there, and I'm connected to the Skyliner, and then I could just come back um, and have like a bit of a break. The reason why I'm not doing rope drop is I need a breather, um, and I want to be able to like make sure I've packed up because I have to take my stuff over to Bell Services at the front, and then I have to go all the way to the other side, to the back, to go to Skyliner, and I'm like. That's a lot of work. I don't want to do that at like 6.30 in the morning. Well, it won't be 6.30, but it'll be like, yeah, it'll be like 6.30 in the morning if I want to get to Hollywood Studios for rope drop. So I'm just going to buy the lightning lane for, I think it's Rise of the Resistance, which sucks. I don't really want to spend the money, but you know what? I want to be a bit more relaxed and it's worth it to me. So, um, and then I think I'm going to get Genie Plus for tomorrow. So I didn't do Genie Plus for Epcot or Animal Kingdom totally didn't need to, um, but I am going to do, I did it for Magic Kingdom and I'm going to do it for um, Hollywood Studios. I think I'm going to do sort of like the stacking technique. Um, the other reason why I'm not doing rope drop, sorry, the camera's kind of shaking, my arm is getting sore. Um, I'm real tired. Um, the other reason why I'm not doing rope drop is there's now a new, or it's a returning show called Fantasmic, I think. It's like a fireworks show. Um, it's late at night and I don't want to do full, I don't want to do rope drop to close. I just can't do it. Um, and I kind of regret, I kind of regret at least not sticking around for the fireworks. I regret trying to stand in front of the castle for the fireworks. Not recommended. Um, I could have totally dealt with like, I mean the, the castle, like they do like an overlay, looks cool, but yeah, not really worth it <laughs> um, for the crowd. I don't know. It just, there was a woman behind me and she was like, I'm feeling nauseous. I'm like, girl, I am with you. <laughs> I don't like this. Um, I had to wait for a really long time because you have to get there early and it's just too crowded. Um, anyway, so there's a 
fireworks show tomorrow night. So I do want to go see that. It's not a, it's like a show, like it's a seating show. You sit. Um, again, I'm going because everybody said it's a really good show. So I do want to kind of see it. Um, but yeah, I don't want to rope drop and be there that whole time because then when I finish up Hollywood Studios, I got to come back here to get my stuff and then check in to my other uh, hotel for my last night. Um, so I have to remind myself, I got to call them today because apparently you need to let them know if you're checking in late because they probably get rid or yeah, give away your room <laughs> if you don't tell them. Um, so, which I think that's not a nice thing to do, but I guess they have issues with that. So you have to call them ahead of time if you're going to be checking in late. So anyway, I don't know if I'll check in later. I might, but that's the rundown of the rest of the day. Had a great day. Um, I loved all the shows. I, I really love Animal Kingdom. Highly underrated. Uh, a lot of people skip it or don't think it's worth it. I totally think it's worth going to Animal Kingdom. It's a great, great place. I really enjoyed it. I am going to go relax now. I lied. One more thing. <laughs> I just want to show a couple things that I've picked up. Um, not getting a whole lot of souvenirs because I mostly don't have room for it. Uh, but the first thing is this. I got this little munchkins thing for my friend's little girl. Um, my friend's like a big foodie and I know her family, like especially her sister loves Disney. Um, and so I thought this was like kind of a good combo because it's like they're like little food things, but they're also little Disney things. You don't know which one you get, so I don't know which one she's gotten out of this, but I thought it was super cute, so I hope she likes it. And it's just little, so it should be able to fit in my bag, no problem. Um, I bought this shirt for myself. Lighting is not great. Maybe when I get home, I will show myself with it on. Um, I also bought myself a little necklace thingy. There we go. So you can see it's like a little Mickey with like a little, I think that's supposed to be like a firework, but like a little Mickey. I liked how it was like really subtle, um, and but still Disney. It's super, super tiny. Like, that's a really, really tiny Mickey. So you wouldn't even know it's a Mickey unless you're looking up close. Um, and then this is one of the 50th shirts. This is a kid shirt. Um, I bought it in the large. I kind of maybe got an extra large, but I feel like the large fits really nicely. So um, happy with that shirt. And then this is the mug that I bought. I've been looking at, like, all of the mugs. I haven't liked any of them, but then I really liked this one. And I thought this would be really nice to get because I'm staying at Art of Animation. And I like how it's got, like, the little uh, brush. And it's got all the little characters. So this is, like... Kind of like the wall out front with like the sketches. So really thought that was cute. Really like that mug. And I liked the shape and the size. Like that's the other thing too. It's like, do I like the outside and do I like the shape and size? Like I'm so picky with mugs. And then I just got these two little like hot chocolate things. Uh, I'm just going to split these up and then give them to my friends. Uh, again, like I said, I don't have a whole lot of room. Like these are kind of tiny, but... Um, I thought they were just a cute little, you know, if they want to keep it, it's got a Mickey on it, but if they don't, they got some hot chocolate and then they can just throw the packaging away. <laughs> it's fine. So yeah, that's that. Since it's my last night here at the Art of Animation, I decided to get their signature cupcake. This is the, I think they call it Mermaid's Tail, <laughs> appropriate name, cupcake. I think all of the food like resorts have signature foods at them. I think this one has vanilla, like it's a vanilla cupcake with a pineapple cream filling. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but I will dig into that soon. Um, the menu at the, the quick service here at Art of Animation looks really good. I'm not hungry enough to eat a full meal, but there's like a lot of variety, like a lot better than just like burgers and stuff. There's like, I think a tandoori chicken or there's some sort of like Indian style chicken. Um, there's a chicken stir fry. Um, there's like a beef plate that looked really good in the photo. Um, just yeah, a lot of really yummy foods. So yeah, um, I decided not to go for a swim tonight because I'm just tired and I'm not really warm. So my plan tonight is literally just to have a shower and pack up as best as possible. Uh, I still have to get up early tomorrow to book the lightning lanes. Um, but I can take my time after that. <laughs> I don't have to like rush out the door. Uh, so that's the plan. Just a nice quiet evening. I look like I need it. <laughs> I'm looking so tired. I feel like people have been looking at me today and I must look like, I'm. do I look like this? Cause I feel like this. <laughs> uh, I don't look at my shirt. I don't know. I feel like people were looking at me funny today and I'm just like, Maybe I look exhausted. I guess, yeah, my eyes are a bit, a bit bloodshot. My makeup's a bit runny. 
I need a shower. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow.